it's, it's a nice day today. Good change for the week. I've uh, completed a job that I had to do last night, so I'll take that for a ride soon. But I was going to do a giveaway but for 500 subscribers, and I noticed that I'm already over that. So I'm going for 550 subscribers. I'll do the draw for this giveaway. Now, all you'll have to do is like, subs uh, be subscribed, and also comment in the comment section of this video. Uh, hmm. Leave the comment highlights and I'll know to put you into the entry for this. So what we have here is a bike light. It's got a solar panel on top. It's got a, a horn, a speaker horn. So it's not an obnoxious horn, but it's loud enough. Um, it's also got strobe function and also a USB charge port. So this is a perfect addition. Oh, it's a bit cold inside. So this is a perfect addition to uh, any of the uh, smaller commuter scooters that don't have a horn or a light headlight. This is 350 lumens. So as you can see at the back there, we've got a pretty decent mount mounting system. Just slides on, clicks, and then you just gotta push that down, slide it back off. Now at the back here. This is where we stick the remote button setup. So it has a remote button set up for the horn. <laughs> Already depressed. There you go. So that can be in the center and this can be close to your fingers. It's a decent sound. Ah. And if if this detects light, so even at night when you're riding and you ride under fluoro lights or something, when this detects light, it'll shut the um, actual LED off. Oh, okay. So you can turn it on. There's the strobe. the faster strobe and then off and that's off so if there's blue light on there that means it's on standby now this also has a USB output for charging your phone which is quite handy and also as long as it's not too crazy a power draw, you can also power USB uh, light strips if you want to add them to the front of your scooter. So overall, quite a handy little unit. I'll have to thank uh, Dubit Scooters at West End for supplying this to me and allowing me to give it away on, on my channel. So, if you'd like this thing for your little scoot or bike, then you know the deal. Comment highlights on this video, and I'll put you into the draw once we hit 550 subs. Okay, so for the rest of the video, I'll be taking the completed bike I did last night for a little ride, test ride. All right, so here's Rust-Oleum and all his completed glory. We made the tank, sheet metal, requested it to be rusted. Eh, it's done a good enough job. <laughs> Had to put the tensioner in. Also, uh, get the cranks on. Obviously, you convert it to electric. Nice high range uh, cartridge, single speed cartridge there. Shimano disc on the back. Just your standard sprung calipers. Forty-eight volt system. So, get a forty-eight volt battery in there. I think it's a. Uh, 15 or 17 amp hour. Of course, you got to put the torque arms in. All right, so we'll go for a test ride. Oh. Get to the post office first.
cruiser. I mean, for a big heavy bike on flat ground, it actually rides very easy. I'm not using any electric assist here. So we gotta send a couple of uh, wolf bushes off to Finland. To someone over there who wants heavier duty rear end. Actually, we'll go park it up here. Bushes to be sent. All right, Risto, my man in Finland. I've got the stuff. I'll need your other details first. <coughs> so now we go get some seeds. Go down here, we can go to the shops a different way. Oh, I definitely need more pressure in the tires. I think there's only about five pounds in them. So far, so good. Everything rides nice. Brakes have got enough bite. Handlebars are straight, but that headset. Headset looks like it was cut crooked. Oh, 
Ah, still picks up. Look at that. Corners nicely. Pretty speedy. Ah, <laughs> oh, the back brakes truly do nothing. I was never a fan of these bikes until I put together my first one, <laughs> and they are extremely comfortable. Awkward, but comfortable. through the park first. Not even going down a bar on uh, full acceleration. Yeah, we still got more speed. Yeah. It's actually quite comfortable holding it here. Free events. Brakes getting more bite in it now. Nice, that rear brake's just lost bite. It is truly useless. Oh, not really slip, just stretch the cable. It's all brand new. Has that chain stretched a little? Yes, it has. Good, good. I'd like to get more pressure in that rear tire though. Let's go to the paper again. Got some Brakes getting more and more bite. That's what we want. Yeah. Have now up to one fingering the front brake. Nice. Finished. 
rubbish in the pocket. <clears throat> we do not litter. Homeward bound to adjust the back brake. Okay, one more little ride to bed it in. I do miss the old twist throttle. <laughs> I might put it on the scooter and see how I like it. Probably not so good on a scooter because you're standing up. Twist throttle's good when you're sitting. Just that back brake, uh, so I can actually bed the pads in. 